Good evening. As you see, everything is ready for the presidential debate. The candidates are ready to start, but that is not what is going to happen here. Neither one of our guests is going to become the new president of the United States of America. What? This is outrageous. I demand to know what is going on here. For centuries, aliens lived on this planet, trying to inspire and educate humankind. The most influential artists and scientists weren't actually born on Earth. Bach, Shakespeare, Leonardo da Vinci were aliens living among you to teach you beauty, honor, ethics. But after centuries and millennia of such inspirations, where have you come to? This planet is on the verge of total destruction. What you say is a destruction of any truth, logical sense, not to mention of any democratic principle. Democracy is something that you have to deserve. And I regret to say that humankind, despite all our efforts, has proved to be unworthy of it. It has never happened before in the history of galaxy that living creatures prove to be so determined to destroy themselves and the environment where they live as on this unfortunate planet. You want us to believe that you're some sort of alien? Perhaps you'll find it easier to believe if you see my real self. I am the official representative of the Galactic League of Planets, and I'm not alone here. There's a million aliens like me on Earth, disguised as human beings and in positions of extreme power and influence, trying to patch up the messes you make. If you are an alien, sir, you are an illegal immigrant and you have no right to be here. Only Americans can be elected as president, and only Americans can vote for them. We have been in America since before Columbus and the Vikings, so we are more American than you. Anyway, this isn't about America anymore. This debate is being broadcast all over the world, translated in every language. All governments have been suspended. We have assumed total control of Earth. This guy is nuts. Please, someone take him to an asylum and let's get this debate started. What do you want to debate? You want to discuss how come that on Earth all power goes to the violent and wealth to the greedy? The more unworthy people are here, the more chances they have to get what they don't deserve. No wonder they make such a bad use of it. You question the fundamentals of our socio-economical system. Your socio-economical system is a joke all over the galaxy. But now it's not fun anymore. Billions of humans are suffering, and we're going to stop this madness. You can present this in any way you like, but it's still an invasion. A limitation of our rights to choose what is right and what is wrong, even accepting that your intentions are good. Things have gone too far. Pollution, financial speculation, ethnic and religious contrasts, down to the simple everyday relations between human beings. All has deteriorated to an irreversible point. And now there is no time left. The Galactic League of Planets has voted to save you instead of letting you destroy yourself. No one can take decisions on behalf of the people of Earth. We are a free planet and no alien from space can take our freedom away. Actually, we are giving the people of Earth their freedom back from people like you. The biggest problem of this planet is the way leaders come to power. Here they impose themselves by violence, corruption and lies, rather than by ethics, competence and altruism, as it happens in every normal planet. So to remove your problems, we are removing your leaders. What do you mean, removing? I mean that people like you, who know how to manipulate people like puppets, will be removed from this planet. Banksters, lawyers and politicians will be taken to planet Pandemonium, full of the most venomous snakes and vermin of the galaxy, and spend some time there in special re-education camps to purge you of all the lies and greed that have become your second nature. Then you can come back to Earth and do something useful with your lives. If you remove the leading class of this planet, who is going to govern our countries? Our artificial intelligence systems are already linked to your internet, operating a new social network called We Choose, where everybody can express their opinions with a certainty that they will be considered in relation to those of any other person on this planet. From now on, Earth will be governed according to the highest galactic standards of democracy. You think that the people of Earth will accept your ludicrous offers of self-government? They need strong leaders to tell them what to do, and I'm telling them now. Get your weapons out of your drawers and let's kick these aliens' asses out of our planet. All weapons and explosives are now disabled, and so all forms of energy created through pollution. What? You are switching off our planet? No, we are giving you clean energy available at no cost, cures for all kinds of illnesses, 
new technologies that will make all your inventions obsolete. Phew! <laughs> Vain promises! Facts, not promises. Nanoparticles showers are already upgrading your buildings and vehicles. Within a week, everything will be part of a self-sustaining energy grid. But by then, you won't be here anymore. Anything to say before we take you away? We will be back. Yes, and you will all be better by then. The snakes of pandemonium have plenty to teach you. And now, people of Earth, we leave the planet in your own hands. You won't need any more to vote for a bunch of lying scoundrels to govern you. Now you can do it directly. Everything you have to say will be taken into account. Good luck. It's never easy to think with your own head, but it's much better than being a puppet in someone else's hands. Okay, now you can beam us up, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs>